All right. Well, I just I guess I, I started another video, part of the video. So in the last part, I asked you to work on these compositions, and um, we had the opportunity to work on this. And I'll let you look at this. I um, you're basically here. You're plugging uh, one expression into the other. F circle G of X um, is going to be the square root of X squared minus three plus two. In this case, we can simplify this. Negative three plus two is minus one. So it's the square root of X squared minus one. Um, now, as for the domain, what would the domain be? Well, it's, the domain would be all x, where x squared minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So the domain would be, uh, we, we already knew how to, we just uh, talked about how to find, solve these inequalities, and this is going to be when x is uh, in the interval from negative infinity to 1, or 1 to infinity, you go ahead and do the usual thing with making the sign charts. So that would be the domain of this, this first composition. Okay. Here, uh, g circle f of x, this is g of x, square root of x plus 2. Now again, we, we can only, this only makes sense if x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Now it's true that this, when we square this, this will go away and you'll get x plus 2 minus 3. And so you might think this might be x minus 1. And that will, will be when it is defined. But say if x is like negative 5, that this will not be. This will, you can't square something that's undefined, right? So in this case, this only makes sense if x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 or when x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay? And then... If x is greater than or equal to negative two, then this then this will be equal to um, x minus one, okay? Because you'll have x plus two minus three, but that's only if if this is true. All right, f composed with f of x. Okay, once again we we need uh, x plus two to be greater than or equal to zero which means x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. And now we have well we, now we have a bigger square root, so we want to make sure that this, this whole expression is greater than or equal to 0. But it will be because square root of x plus 2, that's the positive square root of, of, of x plus 2. So we have a positive number plus 2, that's going to be positive. Okay. Now, if we had a minus 2 here, then we'd have to worry about that, and we'd have to solve another inequality. We'd need to, need to set this whole expression to be greater than or equal to 0. But here, this is always going to be at least, this number here, circled expression, is always going to be at least 2. Okay. So the domain, again, would be all x greater than or equal to negative 2. And then uh, g composed with g of x, if we compose it, uh, you'll have x squared minus 3, that whole thing squared, minus 3. You don't have to multiply every, anything out because to find the domain because everything, g of x is always defined. g of x, is this is a polynomial, it's defined everywhere. So its composition will be defined everywhere. So the domain will be all reals.